You are certain you remember nothing of this place? Oh, nothing that would help us. Tell me, brother, why exactly are we doing this? I do not know. Oh, that's comforting. Look, I know you expect more from the smartest man alive, but Odin always kept me in the dark about this place. Which is why I urged you to seek Freya's guidance. Repeatedly. She does not seem eager to speak with me. Well, quite the opposite, brother. But you tell yourself whatever you need to. See a shore ahead. Black sand. Exactly as described in the invitation. We finally bloody made it. Something is happening. Back to basics, then. Well, that felt unsettling, like we plunged into a dream.
Doesn't seem anyone's here to welcome us. I don't suppose you'll take that as our cue to turn around and leave? Reatha Sialfur, Sinum Hautum. To be one's own master. Master thyself. A more poetic way of putting it, but yes. Allah may not appreciate our breaking in. Foes I expected to encounter here. Curious. Seems it's the way of this place to offer you a choice. At least you're not going in completely hobbled.
Not permitted that way, it seems. And no way to pry it open. Perhaps the last remaining pocket of Asgard. Something unreal about it, though. Well, at least this part seems peaceful. We should have a look around. You truly believe Freya would have aided us in this? Aided us? Talked sense into you? Win-win either way, really. I certainly can't see how there's any benefit to avoiding her. I am not avoiding her. Brother, you've gone to bloody Valhalla to avoid her. At least be honest with yourself. It is not her I'm avoiding. I value Freya. Well, that I believe. And nice to hear you admit, frankly. I think she values you as well, in her way. She finds me useful. It is not the same. Is that really what you think? I do not believe she understands what she asks of me. Back outside. You marched into Valhalla without even talking to us first? Nice to see you too, milady. It was a personal matter. That would not take you from your duties. You breached Valhalla. Consider it worth my time. This entrance is secret. Who told you of this place? Nailed to our door three days ago. Kratos of Sparta, you are hereby invited to a challenge. Face the past to face the future. Master Valhalla, master thyself. And then directions here, no signature. Who else knows of this entrance? Odin and us. It's likely a trap. You're thinking of going back in. Would you join me? Oh. Don't let me intrude on your personal matter. Besides, I can't. Unlike the two of you, I've never died. What happens if I return inside? Well, that depends on you. Valhalla draws from the memories of those who enter. In there, you're an open book. Sure, you want to go back in. How did you even get past the gate? I forced it open. 
with his bare hands. <sighs> he forced it open. There's an easier way if you insist on going back in. Come. Sigrun, maybe later we could continue with that one conversation, then? For once, Mimir, I think you've said enough. Ah, right then. And the other matter we discussed? You're still thinking, I take it? I am. Is that what this is? I guess I'll let you think, then. All right, Jeff. Let's send you in properly prepared this time. First. Mahala requires you to perform the Ritual of Selection. General, the Gate will only accept you if you complete the Ritual of Selection. My sisters speak to you of Valhalla's rules and its values. What do you know of this place? The challenge of Valhalla is not merely about overcoming obstacles. 
It's about the way you overcome them, how you demonstrate mastery of your own powers. We can guide you down a path, but Valhalla will be the judge of your progress. Return to me. medical and we will observe the effects. What have you to say? Valhalla seeks to foster wholeness and balance within those who enter. To fully master yourself, you can't rely on only your most familiar tactics. I use the tactics appropriate to the situation. Of course, but varying your approach will demonstrate to Valhalla the full mastery of your abilities and Valhalla will reward such demonstrations. Be sure to come back and see me as you progress. Step up to the gate when you're ready to proceed. I am ready. Air, Gunnar, with me. Any cursed feeling this time? No. All is well. Thank you, shield maidens. All right, let's try this whole thing again. Choices to make. A fresh start.
is at odds between you and Sigrun. Did you anger her? I wouldn't say she's angry with me. Irritated, perhaps. Disappointed, certainly. Ah, but you needn't worry yourself, brother. I won't let it distract from whatever it is we're doing here. So, this is no piece of Asgard at all. Just something spun from your memory of it. Fascinating. Brother, I must admit, Freya's idea does make a bit of sense to me. What better god of war could the realms ask for than the general who won Ragnarok and won it trying to save lives? With you on board, our whole peacekeeping council could really do some good. This position, this title, I have held it before. You know what happened. She knows what happened. Of course we do. But why should who you used to be matter more than who you are now? Can't you see how far you have come? However far I have come, I have done it running from that life, that title, that throne. Aye.
I suppose this is about how you remember Jotunheim, eh? I do agree with you about Freya's counsel. It is a noble idea. It should succeed on her merits. How is that, brother? Freya is known to the realms and native to them, respected by all, an experienced leader. Experienced enough to know that a shared power is best for the people. That she would share power proves she is worthy to wield it. Even so, why make her wield it alone? Without Odin, the realms have a chance to forge a new peace. When conflicts do arise and can't be talked through, a god of war ensures those conflicts have rules and enforces them. They need might and judgment, and credibility across the realms. Who else would she pick, brother? Seems there's a way at hand to bargain with Valhalla directly. This must be how you remember Sparklefight. Freya knows I would not refuse to aid her when in need. I have done and will do my part to fight for peace, regardless of title, regardless of whether I sit in authority. You know as well as I do there's power in words. Oaths. The people need to know you're committed to them and to yourself. 
that you'll be there for them, and I know that you will. I understand you've got misgivings, man, but you've put your past behind you. We all see it. You do not know everything that I am. That you were. You've told me of your past, and yes, much of it was horrible. But you've proven over and over again that you're not that man anymore. Incoming! Too shabby. We'll get even further next time. Valhalla is a place of constant flux. Adaptability gives us a means to navigate the uncertainty.
Kratos versus Valhalla. One for the ages. Now these would make a real and lasting difference. improvement. Your attempts are improving. You're making your way deeper into Valhalla. Keep at it. Where is Freya? Away for the moment. As you know, she's attending to many things presently. Establishing a new governing body for the realms is no simple task. There are leaders to find and recruit, negotiations for sharing power. I'm sure she'd prefer to be here, but... You'll have to make do with the three of us for now. I'm sure we're in excellent hands. If there's an upside to this Valhalla madness, at least it's good to see you in action again. You're already more your cheery self than I've seen in moons. Without Atreus or a fight in front of you, I've wondered after your well-being. That can be terrifying. Oh! Ah! 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 
One thing though, brother. When you said Freya didn't value you the way you value her, that came surprisingly close to resembling the language of unrequited love. You know better. I do. An impossible pairing for any number of reasons. Just the same, it's obvious to any observer that you two care deeply about each other. She is an important ally and a dear friend. Disappointing her is difficult. But what she asks of me, I... Makes you think she only finds you useful. I see. Well, I can't speak for her, of course. But if our adventures have taught me anything, it's that our connections are what matter most. So, forgive me for hoping you'll work it out.
This is the path we seek. A way up and forward. Valhalla's inner reaches. I can feel it. Here they are now. That's odd. We're back outside, but we didn't... you know. Sometimes you reach as far as you're ready to go. Valhalla's decision, or yours? Mm -hmm. Does this mean you're done in there? No. I will discover who invited me. I believe I am close. You're sure it's worth dying for? Oh, I think we're fairly accustomed to dying at this point. Don't be glib, Mimir. Valhalla restores you after honorable death in combat, but beyond that, it makes its own rules. And if you don't play by them... Kratos, the threat of death in there is real. That is... good to know. If by good, you mean wildly disconcerting. I do wish you luck. Truly. warrior dances with change, easily adjusting to its rhythm. Let's see. Do these tasks, return here for rewards. Fair enough. Do you feel more complete than when you start? Can you resist investing in yourself?
Look, brother, the fog's lifted. Valhalla's becoming more open to you, perhaps. So much to see in the distance there. You can see how all the little realm spaces connect to the higher plane. And those statues are certainly imposing. I recognize them. They are judges of the underworld, from my homeland. Ah, well, you sound thrilled to see them again. Souls they deemed righteous were granted entrance to the Elysium Fields. Those deemed wicked were cast into Tartarus. Ah, yes, where the souls of the damned were tortured. Why has your mind manifested them here, I wonder? Midgard in Memoriam. 
Ah, I'm starting to see there's no fixed order to the realms we'll visit here. Brother, whose voice was that we heard? When Valhalla sent us back from the throne? You heard it also. Aye. Said he owes you a debt, was it? Someone who might lend us a hand, perhaps? Unlikely. He was a god of Greece, and we did not part on good terms. And by that you mean... Yes, I see. No shortage of bitter old ghosts in these parts. These parts being your memory, of course. Hard not to take Valhalla up on some help, even if it's just for this attempt. is locked until we meet Valhalla's demands. Brother, that throne we saw, did you recognize it? Was it familiar? It was mine. The throne I took from Ares. It is a throne of monsters. Ah, the anxiety of power made manifest. A symbol you're no doubt meant to consider. It is a symbol I reject. That might not quite close the book on matters. A symbol can't be slain, destroyed, or ignored. The best measure is often to reclaim it, redefine it. Remind us, it's not the throne, but the god who sits in it.
them what for? Two fights in a row now. Our power's demand are escalating. Since there are more challengers like it to find, that is how we earn our way forward. Splendid! I think we're free and fair to take the way up now. <sighs> A little boost this time around, maybe? Oh! 
Congratulations, old friend. You really are going places in Valhalla. Where is Mumir? Is that really all you have to say to me? Hmm. After all this time, can't muster up so much as hello for one of your most auspicious victims? Hello, Helios. Where is Mumir? How should I know? Why don't we go look for him? Hmm? So, what's new with you, Kratos? Murdered any good pantheons lately? Devastated any populations with the cataclysmic consequences of your actions? Turned on any once-trusted allies? 
You simply must bring me up to speed on your latest saga of blood-soaked vengeance. I am that no longer. You don't mean to say you've gone soft. Never believe it. Once a Spartan, always a Spartan. No, there's no fooling me, Kratos. You know what they say. You can't hide in the shadows from a sun god. At least, that's what they should say. Say, the decor is looking a little more familiar, isn't it? A mighty chain! Auspicious sign! You've always had such luck with chains. This is all gonna work out just great for you. I can feel it. Oh, there it is. Home sweet home. Now this room must really take you back. Wasn't this the Chamber of Sacrifice? Where you let an Athenian soldier burn to a crisp just so you could get past the room? Oh, those madcap early days. How you must miss them. What are you doing, Kratos? You mean to sacrifice me? Again? Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, good. You're making eye contact as you push me towards my demise. What a special little personal touch. Really lets me know where I stand. Especially after such a long and agonized deliberation over what to do. Oh, how reluctant you'll tell people you were to sacrifice me to the flame. <laughs> Idiot. But you do remember I'm a sun god, right? You think I'm afraid of a little fire? Don't threaten me with a good time, Kratos. Maybe I'll be infused with power and achieve my final form. Maybe I'll explode and take you with me. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see. could give you a hint, but I just feel like you wouldn't appreciate it. <laughs> Time for another push. Let's go! Okay, seriously, Kratos, get me out of this cage. It's not funny anymore. I can't believe you mean to boost me on a whim, on a presumption that it's what Valhalla wants from you. Have you ever considered that maybe your instincts are just random thoughts that pop into your head, no more likely to be true than the next? Hmm? Maybe consider that. Quickly! See what happens? I swear you haven't changed one salad, brother. What am I doing in here? Oh, yeah. Oh 
I know. You poor thing, look at you. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, heal, dummy. You and Kratos would not. But you're safe now. Sigmund, I'm sorry. I've been so foolish, I... Later, love. <laughs> I need a moment. As I will be forever in yours. <clears throat> My lady! Stop. You've seen me worse. I'm not sure about that, boss. Hush. It's nothing air can't heal. <coughs> this could take some time. Go on, Kratos. Get back in there. And do what you need to do. Shh. 